Are you getting automated telephone calls with pre-recorded messages? These are called robocalls, and you may not know that there are federal and state regulations concerning them, or that some robocalls are legitimate while others are scams. Here's one that surfaced recently. I'm contacting you from the processing division. I received an order for you. It looks like two charges pending. Now, unfortunately, because I'm unable to reach you by phone, I will be actively pursuing you at your place of employment and your residence. It sounds like a collection agency looking for money. In fact, it's a scam, perhaps from an overseas caller. Unfortunately, preventing these calls is challenging as new technologies emerge. But for now, there are some rules in place. Did you know pre-recorded telemarketing messages must contain an automated opt-out mechanism? And they must disclose who's responsible for the call and a callback number. And telemarketers can't send a robocall to a personal cell phone without express written consent. Some robocalls are allowed, for instance, from charities, surveys, and political organizations. And then there are the appointment reminders, flight cancellations, or school closings. These are calls you may want to get. But for robocalls that you don't want, what to do? First, don't answer the phone. Caller ID helps you determine if it's a robocall. All those scammers have gotten so sophisticated, they can spoof you. If you do answer, tell them you want to be taken off the call list. Block the call. There are some tools you can use. A new one is Nomo Robo, which is free for internet-based VOIP phone service. There are also call screening apps for cell phones. Contact your phone carrier and complain. Register on the National Do Not Call Registry managed by the Federal Trade Commission. It's free. Sign up at donotcall.gov. And finally, contact our office and we can help you with phone scams or on when it calls. Find us at montgomerycountymd.gov slash consumer.